Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm definitely jaded. I'm bitter and yeah. jaded. It is a long-term survivor. Like, when do you get that title? Well, I think it changes constantly. But for me, it means when... It, there were several of us, not several of us, there were hundreds of us that were told to get our affairs in order. We weren't going to live past 35. And that's a complete mind fuck. So I consider long-term survivors those people. I have an opinion, but in my mind, my opinion is not the only opinion. So there's nothing to be afraid of. you got to understand, I always feel ignored, which is why I'm always bitchy cranky and bitter i do believe we deserve a present i give you i give you a hard time that you're really focused and you have an extreme uh extremely passionate side that cares for a ton of people that you don't want to be forgotten by the way do you read my blog i have read your blog sometimes oh, okay i by it and sometimes i'm not but i'm also a little afraid of you oh please but tell me more, tell me more. People that want to help, that are like me, or want to, you know, be the good little HIVers, you know, um, but we don't know how. It made sense to me that we have all these young people who could are willing to help them. Yeah, like, so were you just asking to be my buddy? You can be my buddy, like shopping, or maybe a car game, on the steps to a movie. Uh, but I'm your buddy. If you want to help, then Younger people could help start buddy programs with their aid service organizations where they live. And I'm fortunate. I don't need a buddy. I need a buddy. I was going to be your buddy. Well, but, we, can, um, we can be buddy. Yeah, okay. I am somebody. And, and maybe you can. I'm going to ask you about the shitty part of living with HIV. Diarrhea. Go for it. I was very nervous about talking to anybody about. Um, is that something that, do you think diarrhea is an issue with the community still? I think it's a huge issue. I've never really ever gotten it under control. And you haven't lived until you've taken a dump in shorts and your steedies or a Dwayne Reed. <laughs> I think if I could eliminate that, I would probably do a lot more. I, I won't I won't even go certain places. It's I think it led to a lot of people's isolation. So what about other side effects? Trouble sleeping, night sweats or anything like that. I have skin issues. All of those issues I think sometimes that we are nervous to talk about. But I think it's important for people like you and I to um, to continue to share these things that are embarrassing or like. I honestly didn't know that about you. It's fascinating to me that we have that in common. For those things that's common, I guess, to everyone, all, all of us, which is fascinating to me, but it's it's still one of those things. I'm glad yeah. we're talking. I am too. Yeah, what's your message to long-term survivors today? I mean, you're gonna live a long, healthy, productive life. I'm crying now, but what can I tell you? I love you. Now I'm going to have to hang up and call my buddy. Help you dry your tears up. I'm trying to like stall. In that. I'm very emotional. No, I'm glad I made you cry on my Facebook Live. Way to go, Josh. <laughs> yeah. I feel so on, and I appreciate it. You've been amazing. And we also want to thank Napo Pharmaceuticals, makers of my Tessie for uh, sponsoring this uh, conversation and hopefully I can convince them to keep sponsoring these so that we can keep doing them over and over and over. You should be checking in with long-term survivors in a month. I promise that I will. And uh, you are the bomb. So have a good I rest of the day. You.